the, the topic of my talk is uh, working with packages in Meteor, um, specifically working with local packages, because really if you want to do anything with packages beyond just pulling them off Atmosphere, you need to know how to work with local packages. Um, there's some commonality you might notice between that and what Peter spoke about, which is ideal because I don't have any slides, and he did. So hopefully, even if you're a total Meteor newbie, you've got some idea of how the package system works and you know, what you might put in to, to um, create a package, for example. Um, really, this is based on my own experience, which was um, I've published, a, I don't know, eight or ten packages now. And I started doing that six or seven months ago, and my workflow was diabolical. And it, it, it was just the most, my method of creating and testing a package was, um, yeah, I'd say it was about as inefficient as it could possibly have been. I'm not saying this is best practice, but I can guarantee it's not worst practice because I know what worst practice was, and this isn't it anymore. So I just thought I'd go through that. The, the reasons you might be interested in working with local packages are, number one, you're creating a package yourself and you want to release it to the world, but you need to rigorously test it within your, the confines of your own local development environment. Um, number two, you've got a package that's fantastic, but it's also proprietary, so you don't want to put it onto Atmosphere. And number three, somebody else has got a package that you really like, but either you think there's a bug in it or um, you think there's some functionality that it could use, but it doesn't have yet. And so obviously you do the responsible thing and you submit a pull request, but if the package maintainer is anything like me, they don't look at that for like a week. And even then when they accept it, they forget to publish the updated version on Atmosphere. So it's like nothing's changed. So you, you want to keep one locally that you can use, so you can use your changes immediately. And that's really what I'm going to focus on. But all of this is, is entirely equivalent, whether it's your own package or it's somebody else's package that you're kind of updating. So the example I'm going to use is the spin package that um, Sasha Grief um, released um, for two reasons. Number one, because it's kind of visual, so you can see what's changing very easily. And number two, because um, it's the shortest package I could find in Atmosphere. So less likely to make a typo. Um, I'm not saying there's anything that actually needs to be changed about it, because there isn't. Um, it's just to, to serve, um, serve as an example. So I've got a Meteor app running, which says, look at this spinner. You may notice that there is no spinner there. So I'm going to add a spinner, so you can see what the package does. Oh, yeah, sorry. Say when. That'll do. Massive. No half measures. And what's going to happen now is it's going to complain to me because there's no such template spinner, uh, which means I don't have the package installed, which is a fairly stupid error. Um, so as, sorry, as Peter alluded before, to add a package, Meteor add Sasha spin. Should probably stop that in the interim. Uh, excellent. And get that going again, and hopefully we will now see a nice spinner. Oh. Go on. Uh, this application is called Spinny Spin. Um, I haven't copyrighted that yet, but I may do, so don't use it. Uh, and you can see a spinner. So let's say I thought, mm, that's nice, but wouldn't it be great if every spinner created with um, this package uh, had some really offensively gaudy reference to Meteor London in it? because um, obviously you'd want that. I'm sure if I submitted a pull request, Sasha would go for it too. So I'm going to add that to the code myself. So how am I going to do that? Well, um, this is just my recommendation, but it's through kind of painful um, ex well, uh, trial and error, I'd say. Um, have a dedicated, if there's anything you might possibly re ever reuse, uh, build it in a dedicated packages directory. Don't build it within um, a Meteor app. Otherwise, when you try to use it, like, but basically your whole version control and um, uh, uh, reconciliation with Git will be horrific. If you just build it in its own packages directory, uh, your life will be much easier forever, whether you ever publish it to Atmosphere or not. So that's what I'm going to do. My new package is going to be in this packages directory, and I'm going to um, pull it down off. I'm just going to go to Atmosphere to have a look at the package first, uh, and then GitHub, actually. And I'm going to pull it down from GitHub. I'm just going to clone it into Meteor Spin. What I'm then going to do in my um, uh, Meteor app that I've just created, I'm going to create a new directory. 
So it, essentially what, what Meteor does, and please don't ask me technical questions on this because I don't, um, oops, sorry. Um, I'm not an expert on the exact order of um, hierarchy, but it will first of all scan your packages directory and if you try to add a package which it, it finds named in your package directory, it will add that first in preference to what is on Atmosphere. If it can't find anything that matches that in your packages directory, it, it pulls something down off, off Atmosphere. So at the moment it's running the um, spinner package off Atmosphere. I'm going to remove that. I'm then going to create a symbolic link, and I apologise to people who are not using Ubuntu, certainly people who use Windows, because I'm sure you can do that sort of thing, but I don't know how. But in Ubuntu, I'm going to create a symbolic link to the package I've just pulled down. Uh, uh, which is that. What I'm going to do next, and this is my kind of second top tip, um, to avoid making, uh, so sorry, that has, uh, uh, yes, I've, I've created it, um, that's a fair point, I've created it in totally the wrong folder, I apologise. Um, excellent. We'll hope that doesn't have a negative effect, but I can't guarantee, at which point I'll just panic. I can, uh, off the top of your head? It's just, yeah, okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's strangely hard when you're standing up here. I'm honestly not an idiot. Right, thank you. Um, so we'll get that there. Actually, no, we won't. I honestly know what I'm doing. Uh, right, so I'm, I'm now to avoid the situation in which um, I, uh, where are we? Uh, repeatedly, not this is ever happened to me obviously, but I repeatedly make changes to a package and w uh, can't work out why they're not um, having any effect on my application. I'm going to change the version number here so that I actually know that what I'm working on is a, um, a version of the package which is currently saved in this packages directory and not the version of Atmosphere, um, which would see me make a huge number of changes and um, not actually see any effect whatsoever and bang my head against a brick wall and get really angry and then realise it's my own stupidity. So we're hopefully going to avoid that. If I now add back uh, Meteor spin, oh, sorry, Sasha's spin package, you'll notice um, one interesting thing here is that the atmosphere version is 2.04.4, which is not actually the version number on Git. So again, we have this problem where on GitHub, rather, where what's on GitHub isn't the same as what's actually in atmosphere. But the key thing is that this version I've just added is the same version number that I've just changed it to in my package directory, so you can guarantee it's my local package. You are now absolutely free to... Um, actually, I've already got that running. Oh, yeah, I have. Oh, God, it's added it the wrong version. Sorry. This is really straightforward if you just do it right, as opposed to what I'm doing. Uh, there we are. Thank you. It's really easy to do. Ap apply that to whatever you want. Give me uh, credit and preferably royalties. Um, so, yeah, again, that's just going to install some dependencies. Obviously, the result is going to look identical because we haven't changed any of the code. But if I now decided that I wanted to change some of the code in, like I say, like a really sensible and realistic way, so for example, uh, what we got there, spinner container, let's say we want to put um, heading. Uh, I mean, this is this. Like I said, this is not going to be rocket science. Um, but you will see that the changes to my package, hopefully, have immediately had an impact on my um, application. You could use eg exactly the same package in multiple different applications for testing. You can submit a pull request to say, "Hey, Sasha, isn't this a great?" Uh, improvement to your package, which has already got like 40,000 users or something, but wouldn't they all prefer if it was like this? Um, which I'm sure would be accepted. Um, and in the interim, if strangely he, he takes some time to decide whether he actually does want this um, added, you, you can still use it. 
the, the two key things to remember at this point is if you deploy to, certainly I, I know if you deploy um, to Meteor hosting or to Modulus hosting from the command line from the, this application, it will ship with your local package included. So you, know, you, you can have, this works exactly the same as if it was um, downloaded. The, the build process all take, takes place locally, so you don't have to worry about it suddenly including an atmosphere package instead when you deploy it to a server. However, and I'm not a Git expert by any means, so there may be a way of doing this, but Git does not follow your symlinks, which means that if you are trying to work on multiple different terminals or whatever, if you um, push what you've just this, this fab fabulous application to um, GitHub, and then you pull it down somewhere else, you will not have your local version of the package. You have to push the package separately. So don't forget to do that. Otherwise, again, you'll be like I was, I don't know, any time between like seven and four months ago and really angry at yourself for being so stupid. So essentially, that's the, the nexus of maybe like only two or three things which I would advise doing if you're working with local packages, which will make your life a lot less painful in the long run. Um, the other thing that I have to point out, I have to mention at least, whilst um, I'm standing here and talking about packages, um, is that Dan Daskalescu, um, who, whose name I hope I've pronounced vaguely correctly, did a uh, dev shop talk in San Francisco earlier this month. Um, the topic of the talk, I mean, I could just play it, but that would be a bit cheap, really. That's, um, you can watch it in your own time. Basically, the topic is, if you are um, releasing a package which is effectively Meteor repackaging of a third-party package, so like bootstrap, foundation, moment, um, leaflet, whatever, um, the, the best practice way to avoid, well, there are a number of advantages, but the best practice way of doing it is package it for Meteor, submit that as a pull request for a new branch to the actual overall repository owner, so to Zurb if it's foundation, and say, this is a Meteor package which for, for foundation, we love using it in the Meteor community, can you maintain it for us? If people will accept that, then it means that we get updates immediately um, and um, there is a clear canonical version of that package rather than being like eight, which there are for foundation currently. Um, if they don't want to do that for us, then there's apparently another way of going about things. I don't know what it is, but that's been thought of. So, so essentially, there is a, a big push for people. If there are third party packages that you think other people are going to use, don't just pack it up, package it up, meet your style, relying on a certain version, try to contact the repo maintainer and get them, like, m make the, the Meteor package for them, but then say, here you are, here's this, um, would you like to maintain it from now on? Because it means everybody in the Meteor community will love you. Um, and that gets Meteor's name out there, which is good. Right, that's it. Thank you.